Bucket Bill covering. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, March the 12th, 2018. And this morning we have uh, breaking news coming out of Nepal, uh, Kathmandu, the international airport there. 26 or 34 minutes ago, uh, a plane coming in for a landing has crashed. There have been several people that have been killed in that plane crash there. Uh, looks like and hopefully so that there will be survivors. Uh, by the way, Nepal is just north of India. Uh, they're on the border there between that and China. That location there, Kanduth, uh, excuse me, get this up here. You know, earlier I thought this was actually a plane crash in Israel because of the fact that it was Amichai Stein reporting it or, or sharing that on Twitter. Uh, he's a friend of ours there in Israel. Uh, but at any rate there, it is actually in uh, Kathmandu, Nepal. And that's a little country there just between China and India. Uh, again, there are fatalities on board of this plane there as well. We have other breaking news. According to Amman News, Russian jets unleash a huge air attack across Idlib to protect besieged Shiite majority towns. Uh, they are under heavy uh, assault. It says over the last several hours, Russian warplanes have been in the midst of a major bombardment operation against Islamist forces across Idlib province and northern countryside. The strike mission by Russian air powers reportedly targeting artillery units and fighter gatherings of Al-Qaeda affiliated groups, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, uh, all these groups here, including uh, Jabhat Hat al-Nusra for almost one week now. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham has been attacking the besieged Shiite majority towns of Fua and Kafria, just north of Idlib city. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. I really wish that Russia would do something about Turkey and put a stop to their barbaric uh, attacks on the Kurds and the uh, Yazdis, as well as the Christians that are living in the little town of Afrin. As we reported last night, the doctor coming out uh, on, uh, on uh, YouTube there, trying to, or Twitter, I believe it was, trying to get the world to wake up to this humanitarian disaster. A million people living in there and uh, we even had reports yesterday. Uh, we weren't able to confirm them as of yet. I'll real quick just to look to see if there was anything to this that the Turkish government was once again uh, using an air attack on um, uh, Afrin there. Now, I didn't bring it out last night because I could not confirm the reports that were coming in. Uh, and it doesn't look like still that there is any reports that can... Uh, actually uh, support that there were actually, it was an aerial campaign against the, uh, the Kurds there in Afrin. Uh, there is definitely still uh, a lot of uh, evil happening to these people there, very troubling indeed. One other bit of news here I'll just share with you as well. The CIA and the Pentagon both believe that Russia is years away still from developing the weapons that they uh, showed in the recent unveiling that President Putin did as he spoke before the state of Russia and their advances of their supersonic technology. Uh, I would caution that regardless though, because even though I do see where the Pentagon is coming from, of course they've got inside sources that they know what's going on in Russia that we would never have any idea about, but nonetheless, uh, they do have the ability of kind of get an idea of what the advances are in Russia, just as Putin always says about the United States. They always know about what we're doing and when we're going to do it and when our new weapons will come out. So I, I can certainly understand and believe that the CIA and Pentagon have a good handle on that. But when it comes to the SARS intercontinental ballistic missile and its capabilities, they've already test fired this. So whether or not the animated versions of, of missiles and stuff have been developed or not still remains to be seen. And so I could agree with the Pentagon on that. They did kind of mock uh, President Putin, I guess, basically trying to make it look like he's acting like a big guy, but he's just really, you know, uh, what would you call it? All sails and no, no wind or something like that. But anyway, Troubling indeed, though, and it's very troubling, you know, Russia having this type of weapons. You know, here we are in this world with nothing but a bunch of nuclear bombs everywhere. And all we're doing is all every every major player is only advancing their technology to go even further. Troubling, troubling indeed. It is a world of no peace.
What can we expect? I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Those of you that were catching this broadcast on live stream this morning, I did pull it down because I thought originally the plane crash was in Israel because of Amichai Stein being from Israel there. Uh, but um, we just wanted to update it here. We are going to be loading on live stream though tonight. So if you want to catch the program live, and of course that is our backup channel uh, to YouTube, check it out. I'll have it posted later this evening here in Europe. Europe time, we're six hours ahead of the Eastern time zone. Uh, so it'll be probably, oh, probably around 4 or 5 p.m. today. Shalom, your time, Eastern time.